Alright guys, we're back. Break Room Blitz. Thanks for watching. So finally, we got an awesome episode of The Walking Dead. Episode 6? Six? Six. Yeah, 6. six. Yeah. Alright. They kind of run all together now, so I don't really know. I'm just watching it just to watch. But yeah. finally, and let me not say awesome. An interesting Yeah, It was interesting. I would say episode. awesome. I don't know if it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, right. So we got Tara back. Tara. Yeah, she I didn't even know she was God, but that's cool. <laughs> I, that's I horrible was, to say. But I didn't know where she went. I forgot about her. Not that I didn't know she was yeah, gone. It, it, it was forgettable, but I mean, for this to be the episode that like brings The Walking Dead back to its like... What we're used to seeing as far as fast-paced action, finally, you know. Right, it was it was definitely some fast. I thought I was hoping I was I'm gonna just say this, I was hoping she was gonna die. Wow, I thought she was actually gonna die regardless because of all the stuff that was going down. Yeah, I think I, th I thought that little girl was gonna shoot her. Like, I was like, that'd be crazy. Oh, She's like, kind of we do it because we're supposed to. Blam! Yeah, and and not not just that because the actor actually was pregnant and had a baby, like. Not too long ago or something? Right, so she was pregnant, and I kind of noticed the whole little pregnancy shot. It's like, let's put, a, let's put some pots over her belly as she talks in this scene. Or let's put a, I don't know, a, a little boy walking in front, in front of her. Right, they scene. had some, uh, you know, camera, some smoke, and mirrors right. going on. Yeah. Right, and I'm like, oh. it's like, no, she's not pregnant. She's pregnant. I've seen that in the Cosby show. <laughs> yeah, but she's running. She's running. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she should be doing that with the baby. <laughs> this one's pretty good. Well, she's not pregnant now. Right. But, so we hadn't, haven't seen her in nine episodes. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, that's a long time. It's like a year and a half. It's a month each episode. So like, <laughs> Jeez, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty wow. much. Nice. Um, so, we got to meet some new characters. I liked the beginning. I didn't even know it was her. I was like, yeah. is that on that beach? Yeah, I was like turning my head. I'm like, right. I think that's Tara. Huh. But we got some new characters. Um, we got to see this new village. Village. It's a whole the village. The Oceansiders. Yeah. 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 And they also know about Negan, too. So, that's just... Yeah. Right, right. These Amazon women that I like to call. So what did you guys think about that? I thought they were pretty cool. I thought it was really cool because it just goes to show you that they, you know, they got this Negan's village or, you know, group was pretty much a whole bunch of guys, you know, and you got this whole group of a whole bunch of kick-ass chicks, you know. They were grabbing guns and they had their alarms and they had everything panned chicks out. Chicks with kids. Yeah, exactly. That little girl, that's like, that's that little girl has some problems. Yeah, she definitely she's does. Like, she's like, I want to do it anyways. We have to do it anyways. Right. Yeah. And like, I want to. Calm down, girl. Yeah. Like, right. It was trigger a little happy. freaking a little weird. Yeah. But if that's how you were raised and you're kind of scared into it, you're like, well, I want to survive. Yeah. yeah. This is what they taught me. I'm going to get in trouble if I don't. Yeah. You got to go. Mama told me to knock you out. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna knock you yeah. out. <laughs> right. This is like not mama gonna. This is mama gonna stick a knife in your brain and stir your brains around. That's what mama taught me. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I thought it was kind of cool. I like the, um, I guess the stealth. You know, they had the little clickers. Yeah. When they knew something was going on, and at first I was like, Is that for Tara? I need think you need to get about the way. Yeah. It's not for you to go. When they're all running and they're getting guns and she's just looking. And I'm like, but the funny thing was the first girl that took a shot didn't look like she was going to take a shot. It's like she was running, she stopped, and like quickly went, bow, and like right to the tree next to her. I was like, oh, damn. Right. Like, they, they know how to shoot, too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they know where you are, yeah. and get the hell out. They hunted yeah. her, like, super quick. And she was she was booking it for oh, a yeah. little uh, pregnant or post-pregnancy, yeah. whatever you call yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Waddling through those woods. <laughs> <laughs> Sliding. <laughs> At one point, I was just like, she probably is hating this because, like, I, 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 never mind, I won't say it, but let's just say, like, it, things were bouncing, and I was just like, damn, she's really hustling in this show. <laughs> it's it's kind of awesome because she plays a, a lesbian, but knowing that she's straight in real life, I can look at her like that. It's okay. Yeah. Um, I'm okay with that. Yeah. yeah. Bounce all you like. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it's a quick question. Do yes. you guys think that this is repetitive that we get this new kind of, you know, nation or, I guess, town or yeah. whatnot? Yeah, I mean, you know, in, in, like, this whole entire season, they've, like, introduced to us, like, you know, we have Alexandria, we got Ezekiel's place, we got the hill, and now we got this one. This is, like, four. Do you Five. not think, do you not think that, like, all these groups can, like, take over Negan's group at this point? I think he scared them out of that. Because they're so scared, everyone's so scared. We got the hilltop. There's a little—you barely even see any of those people. They're, I don't know where they are. 
And then you got the, the ladies that retreated to the beach, and they they got all type of traps and bales and all this stuff to not be found. And they already, you know, they broke down Rick. Yeah. Right. So there's one, and, and I'm glad you brought that. So there's one connecting factor of everything that we've seen so far, and that is is that we have each person different from Alexandria goes to these different tribes. And so each one of these has a connection to, you know, each one of these tribes. So bring them together to like, hey, you know, this is where I'm from. This is where, you know, I met all these different people. Finally, when everyone gets back to Alexandria, they're going to be like, I know about this group. You know about this group? I know about this group. Yep. Hey, man, that's plenty of us. Let's go take down Negan again. Okay, so that leads me to my next question. So Terror ends up, you know, promising not to tell about their, right. um, about their group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's something that she should have held dear to her heart, or like, uh, I'm sorry, y'all got guns, you should never let me out, I'm about to snitch? You know, I'm glad that she did that, because when it comes down to it, if they cross them, and Tara played it off as though she didn't know them, they're going to respect her for that, respect the fact that she didn't tell it. It could be it come, back, it come back in the right way for her. So I, I think it's a good thing she held it back. I like the two. I mean, I get both sides, because that's, that's you I'm can torn. scare yourself to death. You're so scared that you seclude yourself from everyone that you just pretty much just die off. Yeah. So I can see how if she told, it could be a good thing. They'd be mad for a little bit, but now we got, well, I guess they were not any stronger if they combine with Alexandria because Alexandria doesn't have any guns. Damn, nothing. So they got men. They got men. Well, well, there you go. You got plenty of dudes. Negan's, Negan's, See you guys. Negan's guys go around. They, they make stops at every town. So I'm thinking they all go out for a day. They stop at every place. Or maybe they split up. I don't know. But all I'm saying is if they team up and they rock it right, they can freaking, uh, uh, what's what I'm looking for? A bat, not a bannon. Um, oh, my God. Ambush. Ambush. All of them at once. Take all those guns. Take all their vehicles. Go back. Mask it. Get in. Shoot everything up. Um, I Not think that is two inside men now, two a pipe dream, <laughs> wishful thinking. Damn. Um, let, let us know what you guys think. Yeah. Should she have told her group about the Ocean Siders, or is she did she do the right thing by actually keeping it a secret? I don't know because I don't know what they're writing in the future. But me personally, yeah. I would have really wanted someone to come with me. Mm -hmm. You can blindfold me. Yeah. Blindfold yeah. me can take me back to my place and you know let's talk it out so we can work it out but that's right. just me personally yeah what do you think about her or ocean siders actually trying to kill her for even her? afterwards yeah, I, I understand though like and like you said I, I can play both sides you know i thought it was like maybe they're bad you know maybe they'll like you know find out where she's from and try to take over alexandria if they're like super bad you know, or, you know, they're just doing it to be protective because they got kids too, mm -hmm. you know? Right. And they went through that whole thing with Negan. So well, it's they, just they, like, they never again. You, they did tell you what happened to them. They lined Horrible up every dude, story. every kid, every kid. Done, yeah. done all the males, lined them all up and just done. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you're going to be petrified after that. So what do you guys think about saviors killing all the men? Dude, so like when you think about it, it's like, you know... Anyone who had a brother who was married to someone, and the fathers, sons, you know, all of that, just gone, you know? And it kind of reminded me of, there was a comic book called Why the Last Man, and there was only one dude left, and everybody, uh, all the other men just got wiped out, so it was a whole bunch of women, and just like, you know, everything just went to shit, you know? But honestly, they, that's a, a book from The Art of War. You take out the leaders of the clan or whatnot, mm -hmm. and you, that's how you're going to actually take over the entire village. Um, I, I think they're just like, if I can give a hand clap to the saviors for anything, it would be for creativity, because I feel like they find creative ways to kill off people all the time. Yeah, they really make these whole, like, groups of people, yeah. these communities, like, very docile and, like, submissive to him. Like, all right, I'm... It's time to take 50% of your stuff, you know? It's like, like send it all over. the men, 50% of your stuff, cut off your son's arm. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, they're just, they just, what do we want to do today? They're ruthless, yeah. Like, how are you the saviors? It's really mm -hmm. ironic. I think it's, that's really funny. They call themselves that. See, to me, I'm a complete parallel to that. All I'm looking at is saying, okay, yeah, you're doing that. Congratulations for being creative. All you're giving me is motivation and a motive. Yeah. And that, that's what it come down to, because the thing is, and this is just, this is parallel with anything else in the world, especially when it comes to art of war. 
you got one central hub that's pissing off 24 central hubs. Those central hubs will eventually say, you know what, we're the ants, and you're the freaking cricket, and we're coming. Yeah. And we're going we're gonna to attack you from all 28 sides, because there's freaking 28 See, of them. And, and I'm glad you brought that up, too, because like it seems like you know the, this community was like a beach community, right? It was yeah. like closer to the coast. And then w I, I still don't really understand geography-wise like where Neekin's group is. But, I mean, if you got these coastal people and then the hilltop and then you got Alexandria, you know, they could attack them on all sides and take mm -hmm. them out. I thought the little girl, I forgot her name, uh, well, it was like Sarah or something, but I could be wrong. But the, she looked kind of Samoan. I thought she was a very yeah. interesting character. I really liked her. You know, her. she had a lot of heart, but yeah. she seemed kind of like a badass if she needed to yeah, be. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of those other two little girls. The one girl that was kind of creepy and killed the other one. Yeah. Like a couple seasons oh, back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, but this one was like, she was kind of a mixture of like Carl, but in like a uh, tougher chick form, you know? Definitely tougher. <laughs> yeah. Tougher. Carl, man, he's just not tough to me. I know he's you want him to be, chance. He's good but dope. Carl is not tough. No. Come on, Carl, pick it up, With son. that little one eye, yeah. with that little wisp of hair he had, I'm like, bruh, <laughs> yeah. we'll you see. need to cut that off see, or something. What's going to happen is, in the next episode, he's going to man bun that, and then oh, when Negan God. opens up... <laughs> When Negan opens up the freaking truck, he's going to come out and like, Superman punch! And, and, and like, Negan's going to be like, Bam. what the hell? Yeah, I know. Ho! Oh, little bro! <laughs> look at that punch! <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to be a Yeah, I mean, no, that's not <laughs> I really want him to say, ho, oh, little bro, right now. Like, <laughs> he needs to say that. If, if, if Carl has had any, like, you know, time to, like, shine, it's going to be this time. You know, he's... He's going to find out where Negan's crew is, and he's there with Jesus, so, mm -hmm. it, you know, baby Jesus, he, Jesus, baby Jesus is going to help him, you know, but, you know, that's I just can't something. help it every time we say Jesus, because I'm just like, little tiny infant folk, I'm Jesus, not a believer in Jesus. him right now. <laughs> um, so, but what about the kill on sight? Yeah. Is that a little extreme? Not, or, not, not compared not to what you see. Yeah, they went through all this. Like, all right, kill first, ask questions later. We already know that our group is tight. If we want to keep it this way, you know, everyone else gets, That's you know, the other thing you got to take into consideration, too, is they're all women. Like, they're, we already know half of Negan's crew is all dudes. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they, these women are higher on the food chain when it comes down to it, and it really sucks. They have to be like that. There's no other choice. If some dude trolls in, dead. Otherwise, he's going to bring more dudes in. Then you uh, just, it's, you, a, it's a mama... Uh, you know, protecting maker. her cubs, you know. Yeah, just I kind of, I, I kind of agree. I, I don't dislike the decision. I, I, just, I understand both yeah. sides. I see where Tara's coming from. Where you guys are gonna just hide yourself to death, right? And but they're like, no, we've survived this long. We got guns. We got food. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. So yeah, they all I, can shoot, which is awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. they can. And I, I like that group. Honestly, their whole backstory is way more interesting than what I've gotten in the last five, four episodes. I can agree with that. Yeah. The the knights, they had some pretty cool thing going on with Ezekiel and that. Uh, but I mean, compared to this tribe, awesome. Why didn't yeah. we get that with anybody else? You know? I, feel like they're, I feel like AMC is playing these episodes out of order. <laughs> it's still it could be that of, way. It, and, and, and chronologically or time, you know, they can, yeah, they can play them however right, they want. Because there have yeah. been like other... I guess series that have played out of order. Yeah. So I feel like this must be what they're doing because I would have loved this as like the second or third episode. Give me something good. Give me something new. Something fresh. Yeah. If you're not going to give me what's happening right after the fact mm -hmm. of you know two key characters getting killed, then give me something new. Every other great show can mix uh, different story arcs in the same episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't need to see just two people for the whole episode. No. Just go back and forth. I don't understand. I want to see Rick sometime. Like I want. If you guys care about these episodes, if AMC, you know that we care about these actual characters. You're suspect. Then give us the characters in the episode. Right. It's don't like just... every single show does that. Like meanwhile, you know, here right. is what yeah. these guys are. Exactly. Meanwhile, this is what this guy is doing. And let the, and then they get paid. You don't get paid if you're not on the episode. So transition. The I know they're like. What? I'm not in this episode? I'm not in five episodes? Uh, we, we only got a little bit of peanut butter. We're going to spread this like a little bit thin. <laughs> We're going to make five sandwiches out of this one peanut right. butter. Or give me more episodes throughout the half of the season. Yeah. Give me ten at least. Right. 
Or yeah, put everyone in an episode. Because we're going to have to wait how many months for the next season? Like, you know what? This half of the season is going to be so forgettable. By the time I start watching Game of Thrones, I'm going to be like, what? Walking Dead? Yeah. Yeah, right. I, I'm actually with you on that. But for the, for the close up, was the ending good enough for you guys? How they wrapped up this episode? Yeah. Uh, for me, you know, uh, to me, what uh, compared to last episode, that episode was starting, you know, to like pick it up. This episode for me, I really enjoyed it, and I like to see what they're actually doing. They really got to pick it up a lot quicker next episode and the final episode to like get me hooked. Yeah. yeah. Because we had this like, like really good hard start, and then just like decline. They, and their ratings suffered too. Their ratings yeah. super sucker suffered. It was the yeah. worst. Drop, I think, since they've been on air. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it shows. It's not know? interesting. Yeah, well, no. that's the sad part. Is like, in the comics, like, Negan was very, very, like, that, that the storyline carried really well. So it's just really crazy how, like, the show has dropped so much. But the, the way that this episode ended, I was happy with it, but I'm still, I, I'm still aching for that moment. Like, I just feel like every episode hasn't given me, I feel like every episode should give me a hell yeah moment and none of the episodes have done that for me right so because because when i asked that question because she comes back to alexandria Mm -hmm. and she finds out that her love interest has just been shot or or killed right and she's just sitting there Mm -hmm. right she finds out everything yeah glad and she's just just sitting there it works yeah and then i forget her name friends ask they they're not in the episodes so for so long we forget the names yeah so (laughs) So she asked, you know, are you okay? And I was in, and I was like, what? You should be upset. You should be bawling your eyes out. You should be thrown over a table or something. Give me, I, I like emotion. Yeah. I feel like she right. was feeling like the women, because the, <laughs> if, if, the, the, the Oceanside chicks, um, one of them said, she, she just fought, told her, you can't beat Negan. That's I don't breakdown. care. But well, I'm just trying My to understand. loved ones are yeah. gone. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, that's no excuse for just to be, and people, I get, people react a little bit differently, but I wanted, like, more, like, emotion out of that, you know? It's just like, you just told me that all these people that I've been living with, you know, my new family at this point, are, like, half of them dead. Right, Glenn's, like, her best friend. She, He's the one that gave her that second chance to yep. come from the governor. Yeah. And then you got your love interest, like, yeah. you don't, you don't care? Or yeah. are you that numb? Yeah. And she just went through all of this. She just like, like you know, fought through hell out of this other group. You know, all through these zombies. Yeah, yeah. And she finally said, gets to back to Alexandria and then finds out everyone's dead anyway. It's like, what's said, the point? I'm sorry. It's just like in my head too. It sucks too because now that I'm thinking about it, she's trolling up with some new freaking sunglasses. Like I'm walking on sunshine. Hey, everyone's dead. Oh, <laughs> right. Exactly. That. Been, exactly. I don't know. feel good. No, <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. I felt like. For some reason, these writers or maybe producers are disconnected. They don't remember yeah. what we liked about it, it, the episodes. Like when, right. when Rick had to kill his wife, he was crying. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, was, it wasn't no like, huh, and then that was it. He was crying. Well, also right. when he had it was Carl. 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 Carl, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's like, Carl, Carl, right. are you okay? Exactly. That was an emotional ending yeah. to that episode. Right. And maybe they're just doing too care. much of the drama. Like, maybe you guys are just really... You're, you're doing but too drama much should drama. have emotion. It should. But I'm saying, like, they, they, the thing is, it's it's almost like the transition. You can't you can't have this all this drama without a pinpoint. You can either I, drop... I, I, I think that's... And, I don't buy it, though. I don't buy that. Like, I, I feel like no, that's I, like I, a... I mean, I mean a drop in the sense where we have to get that emotion you're looking for. So this right. episode, the, the, the pinpoint drop should have been the ending... Where she maybe goes on a rage. Like, she's right. like, everybody's fucking dead. Like, you, you didn't get that pinnacle moment. You didn't get that drop. You didn't get that high tone. You just got all this drama. Um, oh, everyone said, okay, give me that moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, AMC, I appreciated the actual episode. Right. But it still didn't have a climax for me. It was flat. The climax was in the middle. And then it just kind of, like, plateaued off into the sunset. Just and like the season. Yeah. <laughs> so Everyone get shit together, yeah. and but we will be back yeah. next week. So yes, we will be crashing you if it's garbage. We'll be here, crashing, smashing, and whatever else. Hulk busting, <laughs> yeah. right on your show. So get it together. But we are Break Room Blitz. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm DeAnthony. Adan. Conch. Oh, Party we up. are doing a giveaway at the end of the month, end of December. Ooh. 
We are going to do a giveaway for the uh, I have a Rogue One figure pop. I wish we would have brought it in here, but I forgot. Funko Pop. Uh, we got it, though. But we will let you guys <laughs> know. We're giving away, uh, away gin. gin. Sorry. You can't the movie give away come my out wife, yet. Finn. The movie hasn't come out yet. So, gin. Gin. Giving away gin. How do you gin? She's to like, all of our subscribers. You know, so when we do that uh, Rogue One spoiler free review, we want you guys to go ahead and comment. We will let you guys know what it is that we want you to comment. So, you got to watch the video. And we will pick a special, lovely winner. Okay? Alright, guys. So, we're out. Break Room Blitz, baby. Peace. Ooh.